Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to show you how you can load and save prefabs. Prefabs are usually stored in base, maps, prefabs. However, the game does not provide you with any prefabs. A link for a prefab download is in the description of this video. To load a prefab, click on File, Load Prefab. Select a prefab and click on Open. A new object should appear inside the level editor. The new object will appear at the location it was previously saved at. This location can be different from where your map starts and ends. Zoom out and look around to find the new object. Move the new object into the right position. Flip it or move it until it fits into your level. You can load several prefabs into your map, as long as they are not from a mod which requires new textures, models or anything that was changed on the game, it should be compatible with your new level. Click on Build Map and if you have imported lights or your level supports lights, click on Full Compile BSP Viz Light and Extra. If your level does not have lights, do a quick compile, BSP and this. Objects inside a level can be saved as prefab and loaded as prefab. They can contain various settings, various objects like brushes, script objects, models, lights, actors, skyboxes. They can also consist of updates that one mapper can send to another. Prefabs also allow to, to quickly transfer contents from one map to another. For example, if you just want to use some contents of another map and don't want it to load it on top of your map. To save your own prefabs, select the objects that you want to save, then click on File, Save to Prefab. Note that if your prefabs contain modifications from a mod, like for example the co-op mod, the other mapper that opens your contents needs to also have the exact same mod. Otherwise, it could lead to problems, crashes or objects not working. I hope this video was useful to you and you could learn something from it.